What's up, crew? Smiley booze, I'm back. Y'all, I had to wake up early to take my niece, um, to take my niece shopping for her Christmas present. Because her grandparents had gave her a gift called my niece Diapoo. Y'all seen her in some of my videos. But, um, but I had to get up, put my clothes on, and look presentable, y'all. I hope I look presentable, y'all. Got slash put on my my nice curly one. I don't know what this is called, y'all. But I had cut it. It was real, real long wig, but I cut it. I forgot what it what it's called. But yeah, y'all. Got to put on some clothes and get right and go pick her up. And I'll take her to this Ross. Cause I know Ross open up at 9 30. I want to get Zai Poo on out the way. Cause it looks like it's going to rain again, y'all. It's like the weather is crazy in the Carolinas, y'all. It is really, really warm. It feels like um summertime. I don't know why I'm going with long sleeve shirt. It feels like it's summertime out here. It was springtime. But it looks like it's about to pour down rain. Or snow one. Mm mm. Whichever one, and it, it just it looked like it's, it was raining early this morning. Mm hmm. Oh, my wig ain't lying, so I ain't gonna fit. Make sure it's right, y'all. Y'all make sure your girl looking right. Had to put on some lipstick to make me look like something, you know, make your lips look like yeah. something. I gotta remember where she stayed. I think they live on the other side of town. I might need to go this way. They ain't nothing standing up this morning. I ain't nobody moving this morning. We went out to eat yesterday, y'all. To this restaurant called um so this restaurant, oh, he got the baby in the street. Lord protect them and shit on with your blood, guy. But uh, we went to this restaurant called Grandsons in Rocky Mount. We had one in Rocky Mount and one in Smithfield. And the food was good. Some of a little bit cold. But it was good. Some of that, like the gizzards was a little rubbery. I said, is gizzards supposed to be rubbery? It was a little too rubbery, but it was all right. It killed the hunger. Thank God for it. It killed the hunger. But y'all, we went and made my cousin. My cousin just trips me out. Like, I wish I could have filmed it, y'all. My cousin is funny. Like, she's just that natural funny. You ever met a person... It's like naturally funny. It don't take much for them to be funny. Man, they ain't even got to say nothing to be funny. But y'all, we went to church the other day. And my cousin, she kept, we were doing meeting and, meeting and greeting in church. You know how you meet everybody and you hug on with different members. And, you know, especially, you know, inviting the new people that, you know, you don't normally see at your church so we went to this new church and so my cousin she was she had going back and forth to the bathroom she went to the bathroom and she missed the meet and greet right so tell me why towards the end of the service me and my cousin we were going out to the door because i had already heard everybody and spoke to everybody during the meet and greet but she you know she smoked cigarettes so she had to go and take a smoke break before we headed back home and so, how about we headed out the door? How about the, the pastor? He was all the way at the front of the church, y'all. He jumped from the front of the church to the back of the church just to speak to my cousin. I said, Lord, I said, I said, maybe he had good intention. Maybe he had good intention. He wanted to make sure she felt welcome. He wanted to make sure she felt welcome. I said, Lord, geez, he about to knock me clean down my short self. Because y'all know I'm 411. He about to knock me clean to the ground. I said, what in the world? But we had fun, though. 
it was a fun time. We always have fun when we go to church. It always be exciting, and we always enjoy the word. And the word was good yesterday. She talked about how not to let um, the wrong crowd steal your judgment and always be surrounded by positiveness and always be surrounded by good people because whatever you hang around is just what is like, you know, a reflection of you. So she was like, always, like, surround yourself with good things and don't be corrupt by by people that's doing uh not so good, you know, evil things in the world, and mind who you affiliate with, and so that was a powerful word, I wish a lot of young people, was, it was a lot of young people in there, I hope they got that message, because hanging with the wrong crowd could get you put in jail, you ain't even got to do the crime, you don't even have to do anything, like, if your friend, you with your friend, and they rob a liquor store, or if they shoot somebody, you're an accessory too, you can get some life too, Especially if you know what's going on. If you know their plan and you know what's about to happen. Because that happened to one of my cousins. Because he, he got looked out though. Thank God for that. But you got to um you gotta watch the company you keep. You can't even keep hanging. If you know this person do this and do that, why affiliate yourself with that foolishness? You know what I'm saying? You can't be affiliating with crazy stuff. Because if you got a purpose in your life, you got to follow God's purpose for your life. You got to follow your destiny. Your destiny, everybody's destiny is different. Everybody's path is different. What's your purpose is what's your purpose. God got a purpose for everybody. You know what I'm saying? And you can't be out here hanging with any and everybody. That's why when most times when y'all see me, I'm a loner. Now, I do hang out with my friends every now and then, but I'm basically a loner. I don't hang out with my cousins or nothing because I'm kind of like, uh, I like to be move how I want to move and I don't affiliate myself with certain things because I don't, I don't want it to dampen my spirit. You know what I'm saying? I like to stay positive. I like to be upbeat. I like to just laugh and enjoy. I don't, I don't, you know, like no foolishness, no drama. I ain't about that. So, I gotta figure out where she stayed. I think I know where she stayed. I think I passed it. But, um, I think it's this store right here. But, um, well, yeah, y'all, you got to be mindful about the company you keep. Yeah, you got to be very, very careful. You got to love on folks. Love on folks when you can't love them no more. I miss my turn, though, for real. I be getting mixed up where she stayed. But yeah, you got to love on people. That's the key to overcoming anything. You got to love on folks. You got to love on folks when they hate you. You got to love on folks when they scandalize your name. You got to love on people when it's nothing left for them. When, they, when the people have like turned their backs on them and you know they ain't got nobody left, you got to love on them because you don't ever know what a person might be going through. And they feel like they alone. They feel like they can't talk to nobody or trust nobody because they don't have anybody to talk to. So be that person that they can lean on. Be that person that they can talk with. You know? Y'all bear with me, y'all. She come. Zai poo. Oh, she wanna get in the front. Let me get in the front. What's up, Zai poo? Hey, auntie. Oh, right. 
tell my YouTube fan, hey. Hey. Y'all can't see. Come over here, Zaza. Y'all can't see. Hey. My thing in the way. All right, y'all. So let's get. Let's get going, y'all. Okay, I got to get the kid. Woo, do some things. But, um, but yeah, y'all, you got to be careful who you affiliate with. You got to be careful who you uh, be friends with. Yeah, because some people will turn on you just like that. That's right. That's what that lady talked about, too. Yeah. So they can turn on you in a quick second. You be thinking that they your friend. But no, they ain't your friend when the when everything is said and done when they get too hot. They ain't your friend. They'll leave you by yourself. Exactly. Holding the holding the bag. By yourself holding the bag. Exactly. My mama always says it's an old saying that my mama used to say that my mama said sometimes. I think she always said holding the bag or they'll leave you yeah, leave you holding the bag. That's like an old term. That means they'll leave you with the you know, with the bad hoe. That's what I mean. They'll leave you with the bad hoe. That means they'll leave you with that foolishness. And they'll put you on a on the scene and say you did this and you did that. You ain't even got nothing to do with it. But they'll put your name in it. Mm -mm. And you ain't even did nothing. That's why you gotta be careful who your friend, who you call your friends. You know what I'm saying? Cause everybody ain't your friend. Yeah. That's why I go southern. Yep. Only yep. got certain people that's my friends. That's a good thing. And it's all right to have a few friends. It's all right to have maybe one or two close friends. That's what I got. I got maybe about two or three close friends. Mm -mm. You ain't got to have a bunch of people around you. And, you know, so you can, people want to be popular. The popular crew. Yeah, I'm a I don't hate them. Uh -uh. They be trying to drag me into their mess. I be like, y'all, yeah. leave me out of there. That's right. And foolishness. Now, the popular crew, they going to get older too. And they ain't going to be the popular crew forever. Yeah, they'll be the popular crew for their school or something like that. Right. But once they get older, you don't with that popularity. Exactly. That's the real world. Exactly. You grown up. You in the grown up world. When you um the popular crew, it don't matter about being popular in school. It's about getting them good grades and getting they going to college and getting a good job. That's what it's about. Period. Yeah. That popular crew mess that gets played out. Boy, he walking around for. I don't oh, know, girl. Well, these people, you don't never know what people got on their mind these days. Make sure I do a lot. Yeah, I do a lot. <laughs> but yeah, you don't never know. Um, but yeah, the popular crew. Mm -mm. When I was in school, I ain't never really want to be around the popular crew. I wanted to be with people that they call an outcast. The people that they push to the side. The people where nobody wanted to be their friend and talked about them. That's who I cling to most. That's the people I go to. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because when you get them be the smart people. They be Those be the most successful people. The ones that people pick on. The ones that they um that they oh that person I ain't got on the name brand pick on them. They ain't got the name brand shoes. They ain't got the name brand clothes. It don't matter about that. Because when you get older, that stuff don't matter no more. You just buy clothes so you can look good, look presentable. I be telling you, I don't care what I'm wearing. Mm -mm. You think I care? As long as I look I good and I'm clean. I throw on something, make sure it's cute, and I go about my day. That's right. That's how you do it. It don't matter about that, because that stuff fade away after a while. Don't nobody care about that stuff. Yeah. I just realized me and you got the same shirt. Yes, that we showed it. I went and got me a shirt just like yours. Yeah, mama said I could have worn it. Oh, I for school. Oh, for school. You got to work for school. Yeah. For school. When did school start? January the 6th. Yeah, so that's almost here. It's birthday. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So it's, yep. So you got, yeah, you got a few more weeks. Huh? I got one week. Yeah, one week left for school, yeah. Yes. Me, Ashanti, and Krista, we died to see each other. That's all right. Y'all learn, y'all pass, y'all great, and y'all get on out of there. All right. And so don't take their phone with you to school. People steals. I'm just there taking us to school. I remember when Krista had bought her phone on the bus. Uh -huh. She had let uh, y'all bell 
see how it goes? Boop, he dropped it. Mm hmm. It crashed the It ain't crashed. It ain't, oh, but nah, don't stress nothing about what your phone dropped. Yeah. I'm looking like, what's up? Keep that phone in your room somewhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You gotta charge it up and stuff? Yes. Mm -hmm. If we have like a field trip or something, then we can bring our phones there. Mm -hmm. That's the only problem I I'll ever bring my phone to school. You were dressed. You were dressed. You were ready once you die. You must have yes. went to bed early. Kinda, you could say mm -hmm. so. I knew you stayed up a little bit. I knew you stayed up a little bit. And I told you to go to bed early. Grandma all out there. So you go to bed early so you can be up. But you were up. You be ready for stuff like this. You be on point. You stay ready. Yeah, we had a battle with my hair. Oh. It was in the afro. Uh, you, you gonna get it done before school? Yes. Okay. But yeah, y'all, it ain't about hanging with a popular crew. And some days, some days, I know people like, what did she have on? But I had to wear what my parents bought me. I couldn't get no name brand stuff. Every now and then, I get a name brand shoe, but it it didn't phase me. You know what I'm saying? Because I was just happy with what my parents provided for me. Yeah, they would let us pick out our own shoes and our own clothes, but I won't enter the name brand. Like, now, I ain't into the name brand stuff. It, you know, I got some name brand shoes, but I ain't into that name brand mess. It don't mean nothing. It's just materialistic stuff. If it look good, it look good. If it looks good, I'm going to buy it. People shouldn't like you for just what you wear. That's right, Zion. That's fake. That's true. People be calling me fake all the time, but I'm like, how am I fake when y'all pick off me about not having no name brand or something? Yeah, it ain't about it. If they like you, they like you. you know, if if people love you, they love you for who you are, not for what you got on. That's true, friends. They love you for the person, not what you can do for them, and not what you got on. Yeah, like, people man, when you get like older. me just for who I am. That's right. Cause what's the beginning of the school year? We had all started talking because I had seen Krista and I talked to her. And then we met Ashanti and we all started talking. And that's when we became best friends right then. Mm -hmm. Within a whole eight hour day, we became friends. Yeah. At first, I was shocked because that was a big school and I did not know nothing or where I was going. That was a big shocker. Now I could walk around sure. big and I could be like, man, this is a big school. Right. I'd be hip. I'd be tired when I had to walk around the school. I'd just be very tired because that school is very big. You know the school you go to now? Yes. We have a gym. No, we have like a gymnasium. Oh, yeah, a gymnasium. We got an auditorium. I wish I had my face centered. Um, we got like a music room in like the basement area. It's mm -hmm. like a basement, but it's not. <laughs> we have like a small art room. The library? Okay, the library is very big. It's like a real library, but it's mm -hmm. not. It's just a library for us. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. And then we have like a STEM lab. No other school has that. But ours. That's right. why we do like science stuff and everything. But we only go to um, STEM on Fridays. Mm -hmm. But sometimes on Thursdays, you know, Wednesdays, we'll have to do something. Instead of have a library class, mm -hmm. we'll have STEM. So we'll have STEM twice. That's all right, Zach. But the thing about my class is they don't know how to keep their mouth shut. Mm, yeah, we're talking too much. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta quit all that talk. I mean, our class is the quietest class out of the whole school. Mm -hmm. But it's just once we go somewhere, they just... Don't know how to act. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, probably, they probably don't go to too many places. They got to... Yeah, and I ain't going to play. Some children don't go to places, you know, the natural. You know what I'm saying? At home, they parents don't take them out on field trips, take them on trips and stuff once a year. And stuff, so they don't know how to act when they when they go places. And yeah. some children just be trying to act a fool, the other children acting up. Mm -hmm. See, 
my parents, they take me places. Mm -hmm. Like, we are big travelers. Like, on weekends, we could just take it and be like, we finna go this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, we'd be like, Take your clothes, west get, or your south. Clothes, uh -huh. get your clothes up and start getting it. So, well, we used to, yeah. <coughs> we still do it. It's just been a while. We used to be like east, west, or south, mm -hmm. and we'll just go about there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to go on field trips. Go on trips once a year or twice a year. Just to clear your mind. Especially family trips. I love family trips. Yeah, it be the best. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And me, you always do our trip once a year. Uh, Zach. I always yeah. try to take you somewhere before school starts. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Hannah said hey. What I said hey? <laughs> Can't stay away from you too long. Y'all know them 800 numbers be calling you, them telemarketers. I be trying to decline those calls because they don't be talking about nothing. Ain't hitting on nothing. Mm-mm, ain't hitting on nothing. That's why I be like, when I see eight. 800s or 855s or any unknown numbers, I do not answer. I'm sorry. I do not answer. I don't know who that is. Just t text me before you know you call me and let me know who you is because I, I don't answer unknown numbers. Yes, yeah. sir. That's what my friends told me. Um, when I called them, they was like, Yeah, we had got out of the school. They said, mm -hmm. Will you get your new phone? Text me before you call me because we yeah. don't answer the rest. Exactly. I know I don't answer no random. And mine's just a two dot nine. Yeah. And that seems somewhat suspicious. Yep. That somewhat, yeah. Mm-hmm. Gotta tell people when you're calling. So they'll know who you is. It ain't that many people on the road this morning. Oh, I guess because um, people are going day. to work. Mm. People going to work or people at work or they at home relaxing chilling mm -hmm. ain't that many people out here this morning I guess everybody got their Christmas um Christmas stuff out of the way and clothes and stuff I know it was ram shit the other day I'm like man I said, I couldn't find nothing. I would like it because I had a gift card too, Zach, and I couldn't find nothing. Ooh, that win. I couldn't find nothing. I would like it. Everybody would have it on, picked over it. And I hate when stuff is picked over. And you can't hardly find what you um what you come in there for, for get a good picking and stuff. But you'll probably be able to find stuff, Zach, because you wear a medium. All right, y'all, we're going to take y'all in with us. Come on, y'all. Smell the booze. Come on. Ride with me. Come on and ride with me. Come on and ride, ride, the ride, ride with me. So, y'all, this is my outfit of the day, y'all. And I just did something simple. Just black, white, little yellow, black pants, black and white sleeves. Just something to kick around in. You did it, eh? Yes. Y'all, they fit just right. Them nines. She just need a little bit with her, and she'll be good. All right, I'll try on the next pair. So, Zama K, she pick it. So, I take the on. She gonna find her um some shirts, y'all, and see what she like. But you gotta wear that to school, Zach. Trust him and all time for your heart to him for God is our judge. If you like it, Zach, you can get it. What size is it? I mean, you, if you like it, Zach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cute though. Where get something that you can wear to school? I would get this. 
Mm -hmm. Because the fact that I got a hoodie mm -hmm. that's kind of like this, but that's a small and I don't know if I fit it. Mm -hmm. My stomach is killing me. Mm -hmm. It's cute. This cute, but this is more your auntie style. This is more my style, y'all. This ain't Zappu style. This is my more my style. <laughs> she don't dress like auntie. My style is like hoodies. Yeah, she like to be. Yeah, she like it. She kind of in the tomboy stage, so she you like this, Zappu? It's cute. What did it say? Holly, y'all. Holly. Holly. Oh yeah, Holly. You like this, Zappu? You get this, Zappu? Okay. I like my shopping spree. Yeah, this her her shopping spree. Y'all done did man's I read. We should have had some more medium. Uh, I don't think they have more medium shit. Is that? Uh, my can check. I try to depend on. Uh, my can check over. It's some more mediums over here that too. On the other side. Want to check on the other can. side? Want to check on the other side? See if you see some. Let's check over there and your mediums, cause you wear a size medium. You can wear large too, but you wear like mostly like mediums. You can wear a large too, but you know, too, a little bit too big. Here's some more mediums. I see if you like. Uh, I just seen this shirt yesterday, mm -hmm. cause I had this in the wash. Mhm. Mm oh, them small, Zay. You need a medium. These are all mediums over here. From their own out. It starts from this one right this one right here. On down. Let me see. Bless you. Thank you. You will. I like this hoodie. Yeah, this one yeah, is I'm not right here. For She's tall, y'all. She's taller than me. I got a watch thing. You know how that go. Surely, watch a thing. Surely, y'all. You know you got to watch a young this, young girl. See, this you know. is cute, but it's plain. Yeah, it is plain. Well, I'm in the largest. Mm, well, you wear medium. Let me see. Let me see if I see something cute. That I think you might can might wear. Because I did a good job picking out them shirts then. Yeah. Because they're your stealing though. I'll say. Because you're, you're trying to figure out your style. You ain't quite got that yet. Uh, you just... I think it's cute. Oh, yeah. That is cute. Like, what about this one? What's this? Is this a medium? What about this one, Zaza? You like that? That would be cute. It's just thin. Yeah, you can wear a shirt under it. This one right here, y'all. What y'all think? It's cute. You can wear a shirt under a uh, t-shirt. Yeah. Oh, you like it. It's all your preference. I think you gotta wear it. I ain't gotta wear it. Mm. I know that's too old. T-shirts. That's too old. Oh, that's cute. Can y'all wear stuff like this to the work um to school? Yes. Look at that. That's cute. You like this, that? For the winter? Oh, that's cute. I mean, it really ain't. Well, it's, it's, it's winter. It's winter slash spring. Because it feel like summertime now, y'all. Yeah. It's hot out here. It ain't really gotten cold, cold here in the Carolinas yet. What about this one, Jaja? I kind of have a shirt similar to that one. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't want that. Pants would be very difficult to find. Mm, you wear seven. I got your pants over there. Yeah. All right, Zaza. What about this one? That would be cute. Does it wear to school? Yeah. Be kind of fancy. It's all what you want, Zaza. Which, what you want? You pick what you want to wear. Because it's your style, not my style. I made up my mind. What? I'm going to put this shirt back. Okay. I got my eye on two shirts. Okay, Zay. 
That's my niece. Oh, she 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 like me. I gotta look at everything. I'm gonna I'll be undecisive. You like those? Okay. Now I like it. Love and Lorena. I don't know what they mean. I don't right. know either, but so we got to do the chest later. So let's see. You crazy, Zach. So this, live it. All right, so let's pick you out some uh, jeans. So she decided to pick these two shirts, y'all. So let's get your size. Now these are the sevens. These are all sevens. But you might can wear a nine, Zach. Huh? What, what size them pants right there? I don't know. Hold on, y'all. We'll be back. Now she trying on the pants. Let's see how they fit. I got her like a size up because you know children grow so much. I wanted to see if um I wanna see if those nines will do her just as soon because the seven is it's fitting if it just right. But she she grows. She's getting tall about a minute and she's you know, she's growing so I want something that she can grow into and that um she can have for a while. She about to try on these, these pants, y'all. I'm going to see how they look. Um, the other pants, they fit, too. So, they're a good fit as well. She got them, and they fit. All right, so, so y'all, we back in the car. Hope y'all enjoyed our little, uh, what we going to call it? Mini shopping spree? Yeah. Y'all, it don't take us long. Me and Zach kind of the same. If I see something and I know what I want, I'm going to just get it. You know what I'm saying? It don't take me long. My mom, she's a different. She's different. Ooh. She stays in the car. She um, she she uh, <laughs> she stay in the store about two hours, trying to decide what she want. It don't take me long. I already done figured out what I want. I already know what I want, and it don't take me long. All I gotta do is just look for my style. Yeah, cause I'm more of like a. I'm more of a priest. I'm more tomboyish. I like like dressy shirts. I like flowery shirts. I like blouses that flower out and stuff. I like kind of like dressy, dressy shirts. I don't really do too much of the t-shirt thing. Every now and then you might see me with a t-shirt, but I'm not really a t-shirt kind of person. That ain't my get down. You know what I mean? That is not my get down. That is not my get down at all. Mm -mm. Let's show it. I thought they people be going to, um, I thought they people be at home going to work. They people be going to work. past your house at first time. I, I didn't even remember where it was it. Oh. I know how to get there, but I, for, I forgot what street to turn on. Okay. I found it, though. I showed it. Trees. Sometimes when trees get close to the um, 
to branches and stuff, they start on. Um, Save the good. turtles. Well, what are you talking about? Okay. What are you referring to? <laughs> Big Willie. Yo. But yeah, it is not. It does not feel like winter, y'all. It is like really, really warm right here. Oh my God, it's warm. Had to turn my AC on for the one time. Turn the AC on. Heat up the stoop. Turn my AC on. For real, for real. I love my Bluetooth mm. I got her two outfits to wear for school. But hope so you probably need to put on a uh, undershirt under them short shirts if it get real, real cold. With a uh, undershirt under them shirts. True. You should have got a long sleeve to tell you the truth, but that what you like. You should have got a long sleeve. It's all good. It's all good in the hood, baby. Hey, it's all good in the hood, baby. Yes. They build new houses over here. They build new houses, but they won't fix buildings, though. Sure. What's that hitting on? Nothing. New, <laughs> the new, um, the new houses. Going to the oh the daycare is open today. Y'all even y'all we were so shocked on Christmas. Nothing was open. Cause my mama was trying to get some um some what's it uh grape juice for communion because we were trying to take communion for Christmas. Y'all, how about everything was closed? Walmart was closed. Dollar General is closed. All the stores are closed on Christmas, which I agree. Everybody does it. Even Piggly Weekly. Even our grocery store. Wow. I believe everybody should enjoy Christmas with their family, though. Like, I think the whole town should shut down for Christmas. Nobody should work on Christmas. Nobody. Because you want to celebrate with your well, family. Okay. You want to celebrate um, Jesus' birthday and all that. You, you know what I'm saying? You Everybody deserve to be, you know, young for Christmas. People shouldn't be stuck at a desk on Christmas. You know what I'm saying? Or stuck ringing up people on Christmas. If you didn't get what you needed prior to Christmas, then you don't need it. Ain't right, Zach? take that light, but I decided not to take it. You know how like when you get to the light and it just turn yellow, y'all, you be debating on whether to take it or not to take it. I trust my baby to take it. Mm, I know they do. Ah. Hey, I know they do. Skirt, skirt. I don't be taking it. I be cautious. I'm a cautious driver, y'all. They call me grandma, but I'm a cautious driver. My brother, be ain't when I be jumping. No, Christian, you was just driving too slow for me. Nah, I'm be driving the speed limit, baby, because you ain't finna pay for my tickets. I get a ticket on this bad boy, I gotta pay for it. On this license plate. Sure do. I'm a very, very careful driver. Not sure, man. Somebody had to wash out this morning. Wash your clothes. It look like it's about to rain again. I really hope not, because my friend's supposed to be coming to get me at 1.40. Where y'all going? To her house. Oh, that's nice. What y'all going to be doing, playing? Yes. Doing little TikToks and all that stuff. Oh, we don't do TikTok. What t what's TikTok anyway? TikTok what is like doing? a dance thing, which I think it's very retarded. Uh -huh. You dance to people music, other people music? Yes. Oh, no. no, no. There's like songs up there where you can dance to. But they just made a really stupid challenge mm. called the Juice World Seizure. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's like he having a seizure. Yes. Then that's how he died. Most of uh, and I just look at TikTok, I'll be like, what in the world? Now, I can't get into this young, this young, crazy, y'all young generation, TikTok and all that. Mm -mm. We ain't had that back in the day. All we had was a Facebook and a MySpace. Huh. And we went and sat down somewhere. I think my time, Facebook was just getting, Facebook was just starting off the ground when I, my generation, because I'm used to MySpace and Facebook. That's what I'm used to. MySpace was the thing back in my day. We used to do MySpace. Um, that's all we did. We used to do MySpace. That's what we used to do. MySpace, MySpace. They, you could do music on MySpace. You could do, it's, it was like a Facebook, but it was like a Facebook, but you, um, but you could do music, play music and all kinds of stuff up there. And you can have your music page. That's how everybody knew everybody is through MySpace. It was fun, but Facebook done got, you know, Facebook is all right. But sometimes it could be a little bit too drama fast. You know? People be trying to cause drama with you, you know. It's just too much. You find out people info on Facebook, who the baby daddy is, who they not dating and everything. People know all your business on Facebook. That's why I don't put certain stuff on Facebook because it ain't really, it's private. You know what I'm saying? People want to know all your business. And the people that don't comment or like on your pictures and stuff, they be sitting back watching, taking notes, seeing what you doing, your every movement. You be surprised who's following you, following your every movement. That's why I don't put everything on Facebook. That's mm -hmm. why I don't post like that on no, my Just Stash. Yeah. I probably got about, what, probably 20 posts on there. Yeah. Now, I love, I'm now, surprised now. Now, I love you too because it's, it's kind of like, you know, therapeutic and it gives me like an outlet to speak my mind. It gives me an outlet to talk and speak about topics that I want to talk about. It gives me like a platform to reach out to other people. You know? So that's why I like YouTube. And everybody is so encouraging on YouTube. And you know, you can find Christian um, Christian women on um on YouTube because it's not that many of us so it's good to mingle and co-mingle. That don't make me miss your uh, street. A lot. But yeah, you find, you know, people with the same interests as you. Because it's not that many like young Christian women that I can kind of deal, that I can connect with where I'm at Maybe because I'm so, like, a loner and a private person. Maybe that's it. Or maybe, you know, I don't just be friend in and everybody. Because everybody don't click with your spirit, man. So, can I turn on this? No, it's the one up. Ain't it, right? Yes. But if you could, you would. See, if you could. I'm going to turn right here. If you did turn right there. Can I turn right here? to the house, yes. But yeah, I think I turned on this street. Yeah, I did turn on this street a while ago. Cause with you, you gotta, you gotta turn. Yeah, I'm gonna turn right here, and I'll go around. Cause your street is up there. Ooh, they need to fix these streets. You can tell, like, right? Uh huh. Now. Go around. Uh huh. Yep, this is the same street that I took land, um, earlier. I could show you on that Sunday. What? Well, my friends couldn't get me there. Gotta walk all the way from up there to down there. For real? Where they stay? They stay all the way up there, all the way right. Oh, y'all be careful walking. Y'all young ladies walking. All right, Zama K. Thank you. You're welcome, Zama KK. Enjoy your clothes. I will. Mm. 
Bye, YouTube squad. Oh, bye, I'm gonna say bye. Say bye to the people. Bye, y'all. She'll be back, y'all, in another video. <laughs> Stay tuned. Y'all, I just got a package in the mail. So y'all gonna be with me while I open it up. I just went to the to the mailbox trying to see what um trying to see what I got. But I, I kind of got an inkling of what I got. But y'all, y'all, let's check it out. Let's see what we got. Got to do a thumbnail, y'all. Shaw curtain came. Look, this is the shower curtain. And I'm going to put the link of where I ordered my shower curtain next. Well, probably in this video. Y'all, I put it all together. And it looks awesome. I'm going to do some more decorating in my bathroom. But I just love this shower curtain, y'all. I just love, I'm watching Big Love, y'all. Her and her brother Walt is funny as ever. I love Uncle Walt. But y'all, this is it. But anyway, y'all, be blessed. Stay encouraged. Love y'all. Deuces.